Make it, sing it, draw it, say it. This is how dog zombies play it. Do your most furry creature. Draw a picture of my teacher. I like wafers, they're the best. Marcus Meldrew's not impressed. Granny's custard's very lumpy. Delia is always grumpy. I'm Tom Nitz. Find out if I win a Star Pupil badge, make your own easy peasy pizzas, and sing along to the school dinner blues. Welcome to my brilliant show. The school inspector is here this week. These are the top five ways you can tell if your school is about to be inspected. Number five. Caretaker Stan has made sure the floors are shining, which means you have to be extra careful in the corridors. Woo! This is awesome! Yeah! At number four, the teachers all look really smart and really stressed. Hello, Inspector. Oh, oh. <laughs> At number three, school dinners get even more healthy and no one gets any chips, that's for sure. Number two, loads of artwork of healthy fruit and veg appears on the walls, including one of mine. Can you tell? At number one, we can get a star pupil badge if we're really good. Pansy did her poem early and she's already got one. So I'm going to write a poem too. It's going to be really good. I just don't know what it's about yet. Maybe something delicious for lunch. <laughs> OK, let's make our very own pita pizza. You will need clean hands, a pita bread, some tomato puree, plenty of grated cheese and some tasty herbs. And a glue stick? We're making food. We definitely don't need a glue stick. Oh. All right. Sorry. OK, got all of that? Fantastic! Let's get making. Take your pitta and squeeze on the tomato puree. Then spread it around like this. Add plenty of grated cheese and then sprinkle on your tasty herbs. Pop it in the oven until the cheese has gone all melty. Remember, have an adult help you when cooking. And there you go. Now you know how to make your own pizza, you can put on whatever toppings you like. Delicious! Welcome to my brilliant show! The school inspectors are in. And right now, I should be writing my poem to win a star pupil badge. But I've got a little bit distracted by... Play it! There's a real buzz about this race. Which bug will be flying to victory and who will be creepy crawling over the finish line in last place? Choose a bug. Right. Bug one. <laughs> bug two. Uh. Or bug three. <laughs> Have you chosen a bug? Great. Here we go. And they're off. <laughs> bug one is off to a flying start. Literally. Oh, what's that? Ooh. Bug one looks like the clear favourite here. Oh no, she spotted her lamp. Classic bug mistake. Her legs have gone, but lucky she's got four more. And bug two has done it. What a champion. Oh, I don't believe it. Bug three has eaten the competition for breakfast. Did you pick a winner? Well done to bug three. Not the fastest, but definitely the hungriest. It's time to draw it. Hi, I'm Liz and I write and draw the Tom Gates books. And now let's see what's in the box. Let's have a look. It's a lunch box. Lots of places to doodle. Check it's empty. No snacks inside. Yeah, I think I can do something on this. 
Wow, now I am excited. Okay, let's have a look at this lunchbox. First thing I have to say, don't draw on anything unless you get permission from an adult. This lunchbox is made of fabric. So, hmm, I think I could probably use a permanent marker on it, or you could probably use a, a fabric pen as well. Now, if this was my lunchbox, I'd want to write my name on it or have some place so that I would know that my lunchbox was mine. So I think we could leave a space in the middle and then we could write your name in it. Before you start drawing on your lunchbox, you can always do a pencil sketch and work out exactly what it is you want to draw. And then take your pen, find a place on your lunchbox where you can't really see. Maybe I might do it on this label. So I'm just testing just to see how the pen works on the fabric because sometimes it can bleed out. Uh, I think that's going to be okay. It's always good to do that first. Got it. Thanks, Liz. Let's start over here. This pen goes on really nicely. If you're using permanent pens as well, be careful. Don't get it on your fingers. So with this doodle, I'm just going to decorate around my space in the middle. Now I'm going to start filling in my design with those nice curved lines that just fill up the space. If you're not sure what your colour is going to look like, just do a little tester before you start colouring everything in. It's also because the lunchbox is kind of a green colour, some of these colours will change and look a little bit different. The fabric kind of soaks up the colour. Permanent colours are good because if it gets wet, the colours should stay. Whereas if you use water-based colours, they might run. I like the fact that the yellow kind of looks like a lime green on here. So I've made quite a busy pattern all over it. I said, you don't have to do that. You can do something much simpler. It's quite fun to do busy pattern. And you know me, I can't stop doodling. <laughs> Love it. On the side. I might try something simpler. Maybe just a design with some circles. You could leave it black and white if you wanted. It looks just as effective. On this side now, it looks like somebody could be peering over it. So I'm just going to do a little bit of decoration. And let's just do a little bit more of a pattern. All finished. Doodled on lunchbox. There's a nice place there to write your name. Make sure that everyone knows it's your lunchbox. <laughs> Thanks, Liz. That was great. Welcome to my British show. Yeah! I've written my poem. All I need to do now is read it to the whole class and impress Mr Fleming so much he'll give me a star pupil badge. That's the plan. Wish me luck. Uh-oh. Here comes the school inspector. Oh, <laughs> good morning, inspector. Carry on, Mr Fuleman. Just pretend I'm not here. <laughs> yes, not a, not a problem. Uh, uh, carry on, Tom. <clears throat> My poem is called School Dinner Blues.
Thank you. I think I've got everything I need. Oh, yes, yeah, yeah, thank you, thank you. Uh, n- not a problem. I think that was worth a star pupil badge. Uh... Maybe even two. Hey, Mr. Fellerman? Tom Gates. Mm-hmm. 